We've got new text messages surfacing from former FBI official Lisa Page to former FBI director, deputy director rather, Andrew McCabe. They show that the Obama White House, despite all of its denials, that it really was involved in the early stages of the Trump-Russia probe. One text from Lisa Page to Andrew McCabe on October 14th, 2016, before the election, reads, quote, just called. Apparently, the deputy attorney general now wants to be there. The White House wants the DOJ to host. So we are setting that up now. We will very much need to get Cohen's view before we meet with her. Better have him weigh in with her before the meeting. We need to speak with one voice if that is, in fact, the case. Another text exchange between Ms. Page and Mr. McCabe, again on October 19th of 2016, reads, quote, Hey, can you give me a call when you get out? Meeting with White House counsel is finally set up, and I want to talk about timing. Catherine Herridge of Fox News was the first to bring this to light. So despite all of the denials, the White House, at the, the Obama White House, was apparently involved at the very early stages of what was going on with Trump Russia. You know, here's the thing, uh, Kelsey, today was day two of Lisa Page's deposition behind closed doors. What do you make of these texts surfacing now? Well, Liz, it's still early reporting. We don't know the full backstory to these text messages yet, but I can say that while they might not be surprising that the Obama White House wanted to be involved and be updated on what's going on in this investigation, it is very revealing because what we already know is that high-ranking officials under the Obama administration raised concerns about Russians meddling in the election far before we even knew Trump was the nominee. And President Obama did nothing about those red flags. And yet suddenly the Obama administration, its highest ranking officials, make it a top priority when Trump is involved. I think it really reveals that a lot that went on in the Obama White House yeah. was political rather than policy and what's best for America. You know, President Obama has said we had nothing to do with the Trump-Russia probe. We just let, you know, the FBI handle it, Danielle. But, you know, they did unmasking of Trump campaign aides. Samantha Powers was doing numerous requests for that. So was Susan Rice. You know, that was going on. But now we have this, Danielle. Republican Congressman Ratcliffe says Lisa Page, her testimony conflicts with Peter Strzok's, that some of those anti-Trump text messages meant exactly what they said. Remember, Peter Strzok was trying to downplay them. What, what should, what's the significance of that? It looks like Lisa Page contradicting Peter Strzok. Well, from a legal perspective, if you have two people telling opposite stories, then somebody's lying, and that would be perjury because both of these people are under oath. Um, you know, she's under behind closed doors. We don't know what she's saying. I hope the transcripts will be released, just like there. I have the hope that the transcripts from Peter Strzok's uh, closed doors meetings will also be uh, will be released so the, the public can see all of these things in context. Going back to these text messages, I think to, to Kelsey's point, we don't know the full context. But one thing's really important here, and that is timing. On October. October 7th of 2016, uh, we, America, the American people knew through the New York Times and other reporting that the Obama administration had come out, had warned Putin by the nuclear phone and certainly at per, in person at a summit to stop meddling in the, in, in the upcoming election. So this was after that. And I'm not surprised really that the highest echelons of the Obama administration might be getting together in terms of yeah, messaging. There was also about leaking going on. I, uh, Danielle, you make a great point. There was also leaking going on at that time too to the media from FBI officials. Um, Kelsey, to Danielle's point, shouldn't everything be open? Shouldn't we have access to what they're testifying and saying behind closed doors? I can imagine many Americans are very frustrated with the state of these investigations, the slow walking, the bits and pieces of information were fed. Americans deserve the full story. And I think the biggest takeaway from today is that no matter what side you are of the political spectrum, everybody should care about Russian meddling in the election. We know that Obama did not do enough when he was in power, and we need Trump to step it up and do the same. Thank you, Kelsey and Danielle. Great analysis there. We'd love to have you on. Come back soon. Thank you, Liz. Okay, Thank not you. enough people signing up.